Hi everyone, this is Devin Edwards of Favorite Manly Recipes. Today we're doing a pork shoulder or a pork butt uh, to do some pulled pork sandwiches with uh, tomorrow. So, I started this out the night before because I want to do a little bit of trimming and get the rub on there early so it can kind of sit through the night and kind of penetrate deep into the meat. So, first thing I want to do is just get rid of this little bit later of fat cap here. But as you get rid of it, you're going to have to be careful because you don't want to cut this in two. Um, so be careful as you're removing this fat cap and let's get started on that first. Alright, so I've cleaned up some of that fat there on the on the bottom. Um, I left a little bit on. It'll cook off and kind of drop into the smoker because this I'll put this uh, side down. So not a big deal. Um, but let's go ahead. I always do a little mustard base on this just to kind of help all the seasonings stay in place. And be sure to get all the little nooks and crannies that are part of this smoke button because there will be some little spots you can put this spice and rub into. So get this all coated with the mustard. Now, once again, we're using the Plowboys barbecue sauce, or excuse me, the Plowboys uh, rub. You, this can be bought at the barbecue pit stop while we're in Lehigh. Um, they can also be ordered online. You can find them at barbecuepitstop.com and they can hook you up with all your needs um, and all the spices that are in these recipes. So, we're going to use the Plowboys rub and just kind of sprinkle some across the top here. You want to have a nice coat, kind of like when you do your ribs. And this is this is going to create your bark, so you want it to have a lot of flavor. So don't be shy about putting maybe a little more than you would, because as you shred this up, you know it's not going to go throughout the whole meat. And there's a lot of meat on this. So get a nice coating of it. But basically all we've done is get this rub all over our pork butt. Now, I'm going to also add just some straight um, brown sugar to this as well, just to help make a nice crust on it when we're ready to smoke it tomorrow. So I'll finish this up and put this in the fridge wrapped in saran wrap uh, at least overnight. Um, usually with these um, I look at about a 10 to 12 hour cook usually more towards the 12 side. Um, so expect to be up early in the morning if you're cooking this for dinner. Um, so that's why I like to get a little bit of this prep done. So in the morning I'll do a little bit more prep work on it. I'm going to put some, inject some uh, uh, root beer into it. People also use Coca-Cola, um, Dr. Pepper. Um, I've had all of them. They're all, they're all great. Uh, but I thought I'd do the root beer this time. So basically that's it. I'm going to wrap this up, saran wrap, and we'll see you in the morning. Alright everyone, it's first thing in the morning. Right now it's about 5.30. I want to get this in by 6 o'clock so we can cook for 12 hours today and be ready for tonight at 6 o'clock. Um, so you do have to prepare for a long cook on this. We're going to cook it at 225 outside on our smoker. I have that going right now. It's warming up. Um, it's going to stay 225 through the whole cook. And I'm using an apple wood uh, as a as my wood today, but you could use cherry or pecan. Uh, I find usually the fruit works really well with with uh, pork. So what I'm going to do now is inject the our uh, our pork butt with some root beer, and then get it out on the smoker and let it start cooking. All right, so I have about a cup of root beer here, and I'm using Bark's root beer today. Um, you can see there's a bone right in here 
that uh, we're going to want to avoid a little bit. We're going to inject up here, and then all of this should be fine to to inject in. Um, I'm trying to use as much as the. You'll see some spill out here as I go, but don't worry about that. It's it's all right. So let's just get some. See how that plumps up. Some of it back into the pan, but a lot of it's going to stay right where we want it to. All right, so our pork shoulder here is up to temperature, it's at 200 degrees. I've had it in the smoker for about uh, about 12 hours, um, but it looks good, looks done. Um, let's go ahead and shred this up. Now, if you don't have these bear claws, you can just use a fork. Got a nice bark on this, so I'm cutting through the bark, and it's going to have a little bite on it. But uh, the pork underneath is definitely nice and moist and tender. So we'll just pull all this out and start shredding it to pieces. All right, so we got our pork butt all shredded up on this, as you can see. I'm ready for our sandwiches or our dinner, whatever you want to do with it. One last step is I usually get some of the leftover um, root beer or Coke or whatever you're using, or Dr. Pepper. Just put a little bit more in here and we'll mix it around and it'll soak up in the meat. There we go. Oh, making a mess. in pretty fast. I'll just give it a little bit more flavor. Now it's ready for your favorite barbecue sauce. And let's go ahead and try this out real quick. A nice little piece of some bark. Mmm, very tender. That bark has a nice little crunch to it and a lot of flavor. Excellent, excellent. The Barbecue Pit Stop in Lehigh, Utah is the premier barbecue pro shop for all your barbecue needs. The Barbecue Pit Stop has a large assortment of smokers and grills from all the major brands and a knowledgeable and friendly staff that is ready to help you find the smoker that will fit your family's needs. From ceramic to 10 gauge steel, wood pellet or charcoal, offset or electric, the staff at the Barbecue Pit Stop is ready to help you make the right decision for your needs and budget. The Barbecue Pit Stop also has a large assortment of sauces and rubs for any style of barbecue. Whether you're looking for Memphis or Carolina, Texas or Kansas City, the Barbecue Pit Stop has your butt covered. The Barbecue Pit Stop also has classes and workshops taught by local and national award-winning pitmasters ready to provide you with years of experience and knowledge to avoid mistakes and share with you award-winning tips and tricks. The Barbecue Pit Stop, providing you with everything you need to become the next great pitmaster.